Arthritis is a painful and debilitating chronic condition that affects up to 1 million Americans. But this number may get even higher as this uh, disease is often misdiagnosed. Here to explain is Dr. Jason Fowler and also Lisa H. Good morning to you both. Great to have you on the show this morning. Good morning. Good morning to you too. Dr. Fowler, talk about PSA. What is it exactly and what are the symptoms? PSA is psoriatic arthritis. It's a particular type of arthritis that causes pain and swelling in joints. And it occurs in about 30% of patients with a skin condition called psoriasis. And as a patient, uh, tossing it back to you, Lisa H., you have been diagnosed and living with PSA. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story. What is it like uh, having to live with PSA? Uh, it was very difficult living with psoriatic arthritis. When I was first diagnosed about five years ago, uh, I had swollen joints, uh, unable to uh, move like I normally would. The mobility was down, unable to have the quality of life that normal people have. Um, my doctor diagnosed me with psoriatic arthritis, which I never heard of before. And I thought arthritis was something that just older people got. Uh, she recommended me to a rheumatologist, and with his help, he put me on Otesla. And since I've been taking Otesla, I've been able to manage my uh, daily activities and have a quality of life that I wasn't able to have before uh, getting on treatment. And Dr. Fowler, uh, we mentioned that this is often a misdiagnosed or, or a misunderstood condition. Why is that? Well, like in Lisa's case, there are many patients who have joint aches and pains and may have skin disease called psoriasis, which can present as some scaling on the body. And the two conditions aren't put together. And the individual doesn't realize that they have an inflammatory disease that has treatment available. They think that they have possibly injured themselves or that they just have to live with their aches and pains. What does it feel like, or, or what are maybe some of the signs and symptoms we need to be on the lookout for when we're talking to our doctor? Uh, psoriatic arthritis can present with pain almost anywhere in the body. It can be pain in the lower back, pain in the foot, knee, ankle, hip, hands, and the pain may or may not be associated with swelling, visible swelling, stiffness, and that affects the ability to function. It affects the ability to, as Lisa said, open jars, uh, drive your car, go up and down stairs, take care of your family, do your job. And as time goes on, if the condition isn't detected and treated, there may be deterioration which would be otherwise avoidable. And also to help people, you are doing this uh, initiative. Lisa, why did you want to get involved in this initiative to kind of help spread awareness and talk to people about this today? Well, when I found out I had psoriatic arthritis, I felt alone because I'd never heard of it before. You know, I'm in my 30s. So to get the word out there that, you know, this is a chronic condition that people don't always see with the naked eye, uh, you know, get the symptoms out there, have people get treated, know that they count, that I count, and that they can have a quality of life that they may not be having right now. Lisa, Dr. Fowler, thank you so much for taking time to talk about this in uh, initiative and spread uh, awareness about arthritis. Anywhere you want to send us online to learn more. Absolutely. The website is PSACounts.com. Thank you, both. Thank you both so much. We're also going to have Thank this information you. posted to our website. You can check this out at fox4morningblend.com. Smile and talk with confidence. The dentist who can perfect those pearly whites of yours is next. Stay with us.